Lying in bed this morning, just a year since our first days, I was trying to assess against my natural caution, by desire and how the fact outdid it, my happiness in finding the awkwardness of keeping clear numberless flamingo thoughts and memories, my dear and dearest husband, in this kind of rambling letter, I'll disperse my mind technical problems have always given me trouble a child stiff at the fiddle, my ear had praise and my intention only, so, as was natural, coming to verse. I hid my lack of ease by writing only as I thought myself able, escape the crash of the bold by salt originalities. This is one reason for writing far from one's heart, a better is, that one fears it may be heard by an inadequate style one fears to cheapen glory, and that it may be blurred if seen through the eyes used center, not the new margin it is the hardest thing with love to burn and write it down. For what was the real passion left to its own words will seem trivial and thin we can in making love look face to face in poetry, crooked, and with no embrace. Tolstoy's hero found in his newborn child only another aching, vulnerable part, and it is true our first joy hundredfold increased our dangers, pricking in every street in accidents and wars, yet this is healed not by reason, but with an endurance of delight since our marriage, which, once thoroughly known, is known for good. Though in time it were gone new, hopeful baby with the erring toes, grew, it seems to me, to a natural pleasure in the elegant strict machine, from the abstruse science of printing to the rich red and azure it plays on hoardings, rusty industrial noise, all these could add to your inherited treasure a poise which many wish for, writing the machine poems of labored praise, but few attain. And loitered up your childhood to my arms I would hold you there forever, and know certainly now that though the vacuum looms quotidian dullness, in these beams don't die they're wrong who say that happiness never comes on earth, that was spread here its crystal sea and since you, loiterer, did compose this wonder, be with me still, and may God hold his thunder.